Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I want to discuss the whole Snyder Cut situation. Now, I'm sure this is an interesting, it's an interesting conversation because I think it's a bit of a divisive conversation in certain regards, but not... Well, the reason why I'm bringing this up because it seems like a lot of people are tired of hearing about uh, the Snyder Cut, at least, you know, amongst the circles I've listened to. But I guess because I'm not, because I'm in my own, I always stay in my little pocket of the internet, I never really know that much. So, like, I never really heard about the Snyder Cut. Like, most recently is the most I've ever heard about it. I remember hearing stuff about it early days, but now it's like, obviously, it's become even more rampant. But apparently, it's been like that the entire time. But obviously, for anyone that's coming across this video that's like, okay, what is the Snyder Cut? Well, basically, it is Zack Snyder's uh, cut of the Justice League movie. Obviously, if you're unaware, and it's something I'm not that familiar with the story, uh, just because certain aspects of it, I'm like, I'd rather not dive into because uh, that deals with Zack Snyder's personal life, and I, you know... Stories like of that nature typically, um, you know, I, they just, they hit me a certain way. But regardless, he was obviously the original one directing the uh, Justice League. Obviously, he's the one that kind of built this arc from uh, Man of Steel to Batman v Superman to the Justice League movie. And, but event, because of, you know, personal circumstances, he had to back away from the project. I never knew this. I think I might have heard it at the beginning, but, event, but basically Joss Whedon took over the project. And from what I was listening to, I think it was on Collider Live. I forgot what source they said it came from, but basically Word was saying that basically only 10% of what Zack Snyder had done was actually used in the final product that we got that was... Uh, Batman, I mean, uh, the Justice League movie, and the rest of it was stuff, you know, reshoots and stuff that Joss Whedon had done. So, now, this is coming from someone who did like the um, version of uh, Justice League we got. I really liked it. I know I'm super, not a living one, not everyone agrees with that. At least, I don't know how the general public feels. From the people I've heard from here and, here and there, most people kind of, they like little bits here and there, but more often than not, hear people who are just like, ugh about the movie but like I said I'm in, in the category of people who really liked it but um this is something I would be interested to see because I think it's such a very unique circumstance and now this is coming from someone who isn't a film nerd like the circumstances of like one director being on a project and a version of their cut existing but then like obviously there's a product that we as a general public got um I, I feel like that's a circumstance you never really heard, hear about. But like I said, I'm not a film nerd. I'm sure there's plenty of people like, oh, there's this, 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 and this for being an example. Obviously, maybe this is the most recent and most vocal example of this situation. But it's the first of like, my experience when it comes to movies and stuff like that, especially superhero movies like this. So it's interesting. That, you know, it'd be, I'd be interested to hear, you know, I mean, rather see this other version, like what Zack Snyder had planned up. Because once again, I'm someone who liked Man of Steel. I'm someone who liked Batman v Superman, even though people had their issues with their... Both movies, I really like the direction every day, just because it's a very different direction. I feel like you're entitled to kind of do your own thing. I mean, plenty of different comic book people do their own thing with a character, but I guess it's the whole point is that at least those adaptations might be true to the character. Maybe that's what that might be. And I don't know. I feel like you're entitled to kind of do your own interpretation. But you know, whatever the case may be, you know, Zack Snyder's interpretation, not everyone does. But um, I'd be interested to kind of see where that goes. Obviously, the whole conversation is obviously released to Snyder Cut. So, obviously, Warner Brothers has kind of made, stated that they have no plans on releasing it, uh, which has led to different conversations I've picked up all over the place, whether it be SEN Live, Collider Live, Collider Movie Talk, uh, Screen Junkies. The whole conversation has been about, like, well, obviously, maybe a good place to do that would be the... Um, streaming app that you know uh, Warner Brothers is going to be a part of and that being like the HBO uh, Max situation so that'd be a big draw for it but obviously because they said there's no plans to release it it's either like either they're covering for the fact is that they are going to announce it as an HBO Max thing or they really have no plans of releasing it which like I said I'm be someone to really be interested to see that but it does bring up a very interesting circumstance because we've already got Justice League and obviously Warner Brothers is in the process of figuring out what they're doing with the DCEU so the whole point is like well are we continuing the continuity that was Batman v Superman uh, Man of Steel and Justice League are we abandoning that it's hard to say that considering the fact this Wonder Woman, her movie, at least Wonder Woman 1 existed in that continuity. Aquaman existed in that continuity. We had nods to the fact that it's like, yeah, uh, you helped deal with that whole Steppenwolf situation. So that was a Justice League thing. So that exists in that continuity. Maybe Shazam does. We know Shazam exists in a continuity where Aquaman, uh, Superman, and um, Batman Exist, so more specifically Batman and Superman because that makes it go like okay so that's still the Henry Cavill Ben Affleck continuity which my thought process has always been like 
I, I mean, it depends on how the whole Matt Reeves Batman thing plays out, but I would assume you'd be able to bring that continuity into the fold. I think you would just have to age up uh, Robert Pattinson to kind of make that continuity exist, but hey, maybe we're still doing the whole Elseworlds thing like we did with Justice. I mean, I think it could actually be something they can play into, like, because I think the whole thing is like, Obviously, Justice League isn't the continuity. It, it didn't work out the way they wanted it to on both a financial level and just the storyline level. I mean, level. I said level. Sorry, level. So I think they probably want to steer away from like even putting time into making that happen, putting that out there. Obviously, it would not be a theatrical release, but I think it, because it would contradict where they're going now. But I think it's like, yeah, we're like... DC could exist on this, you know, once again, it's a multiverse. So you can do some uh, plenty of Elseworlds stuff, like Joker's kind of said it'd be an Elseworlds thing. You can make this just as like Zack Schneider's version. Uh, I said that word. I don't, I don't know why I said that word. Um, you can make that its own thing, and that could be like, oh, so that's kind of an Elseworlds, like that continuity could be an Elseworlds thing, and then like Wonder Woman and Aquaman and everything going forward could be like a spin off of like, yeah, this is how J like Joss Whedon's version of Justice League is a continuity where you might potentially be going down, or maybe there's a third path we're going down, and that maybe Zack Snyder's version and Was John J oh, I'm messing up names here, Joss Whedon's versions are two different other paths, where it's like, this is, I, I don't know, like, because I'm sure they're going to be in a process of red so much stuff but I, I mean it's such a fascinating situation like obviously like once again this is coming from someone who likes everything that's been set up in the DCU I know I'm super in a minority in that uh, you know that belief and I mean once again that's just my opinion and everyone's entitled to theirs so I just think it's a very interesting circumstances so I'd be really curious to see the movie and also see like where it would end up because obviously all that was leading up to set up dark side because I'm sure there's going to be big big differences because between how Joss Whedon approached it versus what Zack Snyder had envisioned and I'd love to get to see what his vision what it would have fully looked like especially because all the actors have recently come up be like release the Snyder Cut release the Snyder Cut and all of that and obviously you know obviously Henry Cavill has made it clear like I'm not completely done with the character of Superman so like what that could mean you know, for the DCEU's future, like, because that would be building off that continuity setup, but then it'd be like, well, if they did a Man of Steel 2 now, it'd be built off of Justice League's continuity. So that's why I'm talking about there's so many paths here, which could be a good thing, maybe it could be a bad thing, maybe it'd get too confusing, especially if you go down that route, so maybe that's the reason why they're not really ready to do that, because it'll open up a whole can of worms. If, if people really like it, people are like, oh no, let's continue down this continuity, but it's like, we're kind of left that behind, and we're kind of moving forward, not backwards, so... That's a whole thing. I mean, hell, that turned into a whole thing, especially when you introduce Flashpoint to the whole thing. Like, once again, that was supposed to be the first Flash movie, but who knows if that's still going to be the thing now. So, like I said, you know, I'm enjoying this ride and being like, oh, I'm curious to see how they develop this. Is it just going to be a one-off movie going forward? Are they going to try to connect this in some shape or form? Like, they've got the building blocks already um, in many shapes and forms. So I'm just curious, like, how much of the old stuff is going to be redcon? How much is going to be re, like, tweaked? to fit more so the direction they're going on. I'm curious to see in the long run. Obviously, these are just my thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know some of yours. Are you interested in this Snyder Cut at, at all? I'd love to know that first and foremost. And obviously, what do you think the Snyder Cut could mean potentially going forward for the DCEU movies? It probably could mean absolutely nothing. What would you like it to mean? What would you want to see from the Snyder Cut? Um, what do you expect to see from the Snyder Cut? I'd love to get to know your thoughts about all this in the comments down below. But really, that's all I want to talk about. See the next time we meet. Be happy, be safe, little like to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and good.